Gregafarian here, Gregafarian.com and Virtual Media Realty, your realtor in the Merrimack Valley, Andover, North Andover, Essex County area, Greater Boston, how you doing? Hope you're well. Doing my market report, uh, week of July 12th through the 16th, and um, not too much, not too much economic news, I mean, it's been uh, sort of a quiet week uh, regarding um, economic information. Uh, today we did have the producer price index for June, which was good. It was down 0.5%, excluding food and energy, which is the core. It was up only 0.1%. So that was really good, and it was much better than expected. And now... You know, the people are coming out and saying, are we going to be headed for deflation? Uh, the Fed has said a few times that they're going to keep rates low uh, this week. And they did also revise their economic numbers for the U.S. economy. So a lot of people are now starting to talk, is deflation a risk? And I don't know. I, I think that right now... Um, Things are in check. We're doing okay. Jobless claims uh, for the week ending July 10th came out today, and they were down 31,000 to a total uh, first-time jobless claims falling to 429,000. And that was pretty good as well. The number that I thought was a little concerning was continuing claims, people continuing to file for unemployment was up to 4.681 million uh, versus last week's 4.4 million. So that's that was the, the weak number in the market today uh, is taking a little bit on the chin. Since the home buyer tax credit has ended, home prices have gone down. 24% of all sellers have dropped their prices at least once since July 1st. So I thought that was a pretty interesting figure. Um, and that was a 9% increase since June. So a little bit of a, you know, not, not a big surprise, but this is more fuel for the buyers out there. If you're out there looking to buy, this is your time. 30-year uh, fixed has also remained stable at 4.69%. And the 15-year is also remained stable this week at 4.12 percent so those are those are good numbers for the buyer as well uh, oil has done okay this week it's at 75 65 right now so, and gold is at 1211 dollars an ounce some things that i i thought were interesting this week first of all i'd be remiss to talk a little bit about uh george steinbrenner New York Yankees. I'm a Red Sox fan, but uh, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. He did a fantastic job as Yankees owner. Um, he died at the age of 80. Uh, some interesting facts with him: he bought the Yankees in '73 for 8.7 million dollars. Now the Yankees alone are worth well over a billion dollars. He also spun off two different two different um, organizations, the Yes Network and the Legends Club, and they were saying that this Yes Network um, is worth over a billion dollars. So how about that for a return on your money? The iPhone is having its own problems with this antenna business, and uh, a lot of people are asking, asking a question, is the iPhone, the new iPhone, a lemon? I saw it, I got to play with it a little bit, uh, barring any software issues which you know that's common um, I think it's a fantastic gadget and uh, a lot of people are talking is the iPhone a, a Blackberry killer and I'd have to say I, I used to be bullish on Blackberry and I, I don't see how they're gonna compete with them I mean I like the underdog though but I don't know the Apple the Apple is is quite a product Another interesting news is China. China's been in the news. Everyone's been talking about their slower growth. And uh, they only grew 10.3% in the second quarter. I mean, I'm laughing because it's just, you know, double-digit growth earnings. And they're saying, oh, that's great. So 
They're saying that was good. Uh, a lot of people are saying that that's good because it's going to push off inflation, and that's Monty. And then they had better than expected inflation figures, so that was also a really positive. I'd just like to give you my my two cents. And the sixty-four thousand dollar question is: with very low inflation and rates at record lows, how is the Fed going to engineer? A soft landing and you know I think that that's that's a key question and a lot of people are asking what is their exit strategy um, and you know eventually the Fed is going to have to raise rates I mean that's just the way it works we have to remember and so that history doesn't repeat itself is what happened in you know 1998 99 2000 and eventually the tech bu tech bubble. Rates at a low level right now is good. I mean, we need that. I just think that the problem the U.S. faces is consumers and their struggle with you know continuing to spend. I, I, I feel that the consumer needs all the help they can. Lower interest rates are going to help them. So I think jobs is another issue and as we continue to create more jobs that's going to lead us out of any fear of a double dip recession so jobs and spending and the consumer i think and rates low rates are good i mean let's let's face it uh what would you rather have a four percent rate on your 30-year mortgage or a seven percent rate so I think that I think that we are in a good situation right now. We just have to continue growth and not tax anymore. I mean that that's another thing, you know. Can't forget, more money you have in your pocket, the better you're gonna feel and the more you're gonna want to spend money, not increasing taxes. So anyways, that's my two cents. Let me know if you have any questions, if you need any information on any homes on the market. Give me a call, send me a message on Twitter or Facebook, email me, call me, the old-fashioned way. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Greg Affarian, out for now.